In this tech tip video, we're going to talk about our stuffer trip arm adjustment and our stuffer door adjustment. So as we talk about our stuffer door, this is down underneath the baler. This is up towards the front of the baler. This is facing towards the back of the baler. The very first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at this gap right here along the side. We want to make sure that this gap is equal distance from side to side. This bearing right here has two set screws that we can undo the set screws and, and then we're able to tap the, uh, the door from side to side to make sure that we get equal, equal distance in there. We also want to make sure that this gap right in here, on some of the older 2170s, there was a plastic um, piece of plastic that came over the top of this, and it made this gap right along here very, very narrow, and so rocks would get hung up in there. And then also here towards the back, this, this uh, angle right here, we can move this angle uh, towards the back and towards the front to get this gap right in right in here. The biggest thing we want, we want it so that rocks will fall through, but we don't want it to where material can get caught down underneath her and, and bind us up. The other thing that we're going to look at while we're down underneath here is we're going to take this bracket that holds it, we're going to swing it down. Now while we're underneath here, we're going to point out that right along here, where this door comes down, right through here, you can see on this one here, over a period of time they start to wear. You may need to go in here and weld this up on occasions and grind it down. The same thing with our door a little bit. Also, you're going to get a lot of hay build up here if you're running a steamer. And so this is going to cause it so that the door can't come down and and, um, and trip because there's so much hay build up in here. So now we're gonna we're gonna come in here and we're going to undo this bolt right in here. And this will drop that trap door down. So we're gonna take it, we'll pull it, pull our bolt out. What we're looking for here when we do this is we just want to make sure that these bearings that we pointed out down underneath here that they over a period of time those bearings will freeze up on us and won't allow this door to go up and down smoothly so this door you can see how easy it goes up and down so we're in good shape another thing that we're going to want to look at you can see right here how the bushing is poking out the bushing is poking out to the side here when it's flush on the other side. Well, that's what we want. Most of the times these come from the factory and, and this part is too wide. We've got to get in here with a grinder and grind this down and make it narrower because this clevis right here will bind on this white spot right here. Okay, so this bolt right here and this nut they come from the factory with this nut up here on this side. We need to take the nut 
move it under the underside. So this bolt right here, and we're going to talk about it in just a minute, there is the purpose of this bolt is our stop bolt. And that shows how far we can go up into the charge chamber right there. Right. So we're going to check the, our distance from the floor right here. Uh, this is our stuffer charge cha chamber here. We want one inch from here to the top of our door. So we're going to take our square. It's adjusted at one inch. We're going to take it and we're going to take and, and just come over the top of this. And you can see we just want it to barely barely come over the top. That bolt that we were just talking about, that's your height adjustment for this door. You use that to get the one inch adjustment right here on this door.